Selling is a challenging task nowadays. But at the same time, the marketers, the salespersons, they have umpteen opportunities thanks to variety of products and services which are available. Why it's challenging? Because it's extremely competitive. For any product category, you have umpteen uh, competitors offering more or less similar technology or similar kinds of products. So what provides the clinching uh, factor? The clinching factor is the salesperson's approach. And uh, see, when we talk about even pricing, uh, more or less most of the products follow uniform uh, pricing or very little variation for the same category of products. It's extremely competitive. So selling is more and more important in the 21st century in the marketplace. And uh, a seller, a salesperson at whatever level he is in the company's hierarchy can clearly show that he's able to do a good job because of uh, the targets and uh, most of the times uh, salesperson's uh, compensation plan includes a combination of both fixed salary and also the variable salary. And companies of course support the salesmanship efforts by advertising, sales promotion, giving offers, etc. And how do you grab the attention of the customers? One is we talk about the ADA model wherein uh, you increase the awareness of the customer. One method through advertisements. The second is the offers what we mentioned. Third is the salesperson's approach. Meeting people directly, spreading good word of mouth communication from customer to customer. That really helps. And uh, the salesperson should also try to create an interest or desire in the minds of the customer to buy the product. And we also talk about something like many a times when the customer, when the consumer is in a dilemma to buy the product or not, the salesperson acts as the guiding force to enable them to make a decision. For example, a consumer goes to a multi-brand uh, retailer like Vivek's he wants to buy a LED TV and he is in a dilemma to choose between one of the two or one of the three leading brands of LED TVs available in Vivek's. The salesperson's duty is to provide complete information about all the product categories including the warranty, the service facilities, etc. And of course, though he may uh, give the final decision to the consumer, he can guide him to take a uh, decision. See, we talk about the seven steps in sales, seven steps in the selling process. The salesperson should be preparation. I mean, you should be adequately or thoroughly prepared about your company's products and services even before you fix up an appointment with your client. Then when you meet the client, introduce yourself and uh, introduce the products um, uh, properly. And uh, like what I said earlier, never be pushy with the consumer, never appear too eager to clinch the sale. The correct information should be given to the consumer without giving even uh, some uh, sales people, uh, they are too eager to clinch the sale, they give false information which of course is wrong. Okay, We also encourage the right sort of questions from the consumer. Uh, we cannot uh, be in uh, too much of a hurry to close the sale uh, rather than it's our duty to uh, encourage the consumer to ask questions, clarify uh, their uh, doubts and other things. And you make a, a detailed presentation which enables the, I can say the consumer to totally understand the product apart from giving the company's brochure or the leaflets or pamphlets which are normally given for various uh, products. So uh, the correct uh, sort of uh, guidance has to be given. For example, even in a service industry like healthcare, it is the duty of the healthcare service provider, the people who are at the front desk 
to guide the patients to or their attendants to a, the correct uh, healthcare specialist. The same is the case in the case of, of uh, say, a four star or a five star hotel or in the tourism industry. Correct information has to be given to the consumer. And we also talk about uh, uh, resistance from or objections in that way from the consumer. We cannot expect the consumer to say yes to whatever the salesperson says. And it's the duty of the salesperson to clarify the uh, doubts and to overcome certain objections which are raised by the consumer during the selling process. And uh, the final, I won't say the final, it's probably the penultimate step would be to close the sale because however well a salesperson does the other things, finally he has to show to his boss that he has done the job and he has closed the sale and he has brought so many uh, orders to the company or uh, got so many checks to the company. That's very, very important. And uh, so that means uh, uh, you shouldn't waste time on prospects whom you really feel that you cannot convert. If you uh, Some prospects, uh, you may have a reasonable chance of converting after three visits or four visits. You could try to that stage. And once you close the sale, you've got a loyal customer in your uh, kitty. So you go and meet him and get some good referrals. Always uh, positive referrals, uh, word of mouth. It helps you. Even if they give you seven or ten referrals, you get a better chance of converting at least five in the next month or within the same month. So that means uh, every time you are able to close the sale, try to get referrals and get references. So apart from that, you have to provide follow-up action, not only in terms of uh, finding out how the product is doing, either over phone or once in a while, if you are coming that side to their office or their home, you drop in after getting an appointment and uh, find out. Well, that always, uh, I can say, helps you to build up a better rapport with uh, the customer and he will be talking about you, your uh, company's products and uh, other services to his friends and that will definitely help you. Thank you.